Well, hi guys, and welcome back to Alcan ADV. Um, today we're going to go into all the numbers for the trip, money spent, um, gas mileage, all that fun jazz. Anyway, we'll get into that right after this. <laughs> So the first thing we'll look at is uh, gas mileage. Now I averaged, uh, over the whole trip, I averaged 44 miles to the gallon. Uh, a lot of this was because of poor fuel quality in Canada especially. Um, the lesser grade of fuel you get, the less miles to the gallon you get. Uh, but also, I was hammering the bike pretty hard. I wasn't uh, sparing the horses any. A KLR gets good enough gas mileage as it is that I wasn't too worried about it, plus I had budgeted um, quite a ways over what I was expecting to spend. So I was uh, putting more emphasis on safety and speed than gas mileage. So my mileage went down a little bit uh, as opposed to what I was hoping to get. I was hoping to get about 50, but you know, it is what it is. So over the whole trip, my average gas price was 365 a gallon. Uh, now this is taking into account uh, through Canada, where often it's above six dollars a gallon, at least six dollars Canadian, um, up along the Alcan, at least where I was. Um, that's incredibly high, but it's fairly normal for Canada. Canada gas prices, Mason and and guys, you probably know this. You guys, I pity you. Anyway, now we'll get into the uh, prices and, and what I spent on the trip. Now, I budgeted myself $5,000 uh, for this whole trip. That included everything, basically. Uh, and I was not expecting to spend that. Uh, I didn't. I was quite a ways under. And here's the breakdown. I was gone 78 days. My average was $51 a day. That was what I was spending. But that isn't... A complete picture. So $51 a day, that includes a two, close to $250 ticket um, that I got out when I crashed out in North Carolina. Without the ticket, that takes it to $48 a day. Uh, and then also, before I deducted that ticket from it, the uh, my average in America was $48 a day. My average in Canada was $68 a day. So that was down from 51. If I take Canada out of the equation, it goes down to 48. And then I take the ticket out and it goes down even more, but I didn't add that up. So I broke this down into five categories. Um, it'd be food, lodging, gas, um, other expenses that I couldn't really qualify into one of those and then bike maintenance. Um, originally I had the bike maintenance lumped in with all the other stuff but I had to figure out why that category was so high and I did. It was because all my maintenance stuff was in there and I did have to replace a few things on the bike that I didn't expect. So, uh, For food, in the US I spent $489. So that was all the way from when I went into Washington all the way down and around uh, until I went back out. I left in Washington as well. In Canada, I spent $42.28. That's Canadian. This comes out to $32.12 um, American dollars. A lot of that was because on the way down, I had brought a lot of food from home, and so I wasn't, I wasn't uh, buying food very much in Canada. And then also, on the way back up, I met my mother and sister up in Dawson Creek, and we went up most of the Alcan together. So. Um, I wasn't buying food during that time because I was just camping out with them and we were just eating together. So uh, I only bought food for a small amount of Canada. But my average in Canada was, no, my average overall was $6.68 a day for food. So total of, in US dollars, the total that I spent over the whole trip on food was $521. Now we go to lodging, and this is something that I also saved a good deal on because I was staying with friends of mine all over the place and not having to pay for lodging uh, near as much as I was expecting to. On the other hand, I did have a couple of hotels that I paid for uh, after each crash I got a hotel, and uh, there was one hotel up in Canada that I wasn't expecting, so that, that took it up a little bit, 
the rest of it took it down so far that I really didn't have any problem. So in the US, uh, I spent $526 on lodging. In Canada, I spent $217, that's Canadian. Um, and so converted to US, that's $164 US dollars that I spent in Canada on lodging. That includes one hotel on the way down. And uh, so it was a little bit skewed that way. So I spent more than I was expecting to in Canada. Total for lodging comes to $691 and uh, $887 a day is my average. Now here's where it gets interesting, uh, gas. Now this is, I tried to break this down into a, a few different categories because a lot of the time uh, gas is such a, such a fluctuating medium really. So in the US, um, I spent $902 on gas during the time I was in the lower 48 and Alaska. So that was 68 days and averaged out that's $13.27 a day. In Canada, I spent $454 Canadian, which comes out to $345 uh, US. But here's the kicker. I was in Canada for 10 days. That's including on the way down and on the way back. I was 10 days total in Canada and I spent $454 in gas. That's Canadian, so I spent $345. Anyway, Canadian uh, average in gas is $45 a day and if I convert that to US, it's $34 and $34.5 a day. So the total I spent on gas was in US dollars $1,248.12. So that's $16 a day on average. So now we come to the other stuff and this is a huge category. All the gifts I got, all the um, bike maintenance didn't fall in. No, I did fall in this. So I separated it out but in these numbers includes bike maintenance, includes the ticket I got um, and includes what else? Anything else that doesn't fall under food, lodging, or, or gas. So what I spent on this in the U.S. was $1,378. And that includes a ticket and all bike maintenance. In Canada, I spent $176. That's Canadian. If I convert that to U.S., it's $133. So my total in U.S. dollars uh, for the whole trip, including Canada, would be $15, $12, $35. So that comes out to $19.38 a day for incidentals, basically. Just stuff that I can't put into any category. So I had to break that down a little bit. Um, what is wrong with me? You know, why am I spending so much? Anyway, so the only category that was really in there that I could make a category of its own was bike maintenance. So I put all the bike maintenance down and it was $489 that I spent on maintenance uh, over the trip. That includes Canada. Uh, Canadian prices converted to US dollars. So round it to $500 that I spent on maintenance. That's oil, um, different odd stuff. I had to replace the chain, I had to replace the sprockets, I had to replace the tires, and uh, did a couple of oil changes. I had to replace the brake pads once. Um, that was bad. I was wearing on the metal, at, on the front at least. Um, anyway, so that's what I spent on maintenance. So if I take the maintenance out of the rest of the stuff that I, all this other category, uh, it comes out to 10.23.11 over the trip, which averages out to $13.11 a day. But that is still includes the ticket that I got out in North Carolina. So if I take the ticket out, which is $271, it comes out to $752 total that I spent on incidentals, and which averages to $9.64 a day, which is more acceptable uh, territory for me at least. So that's about all the numbers that I've got today. I'm going to take a picture of this note sheet that I've got here and, uh, and put it up here because if somebody can decipher my writing, it might help somebody out. Um, other than that, if you guys have any questions, um, shoot me an email or write them in the comments and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll answer them. This is all I can think of at least for right now and uh, I might put something in a future video if I remember something else that I didn't include here. So what's all this come out to? Um, everything totaled up 
my grand total for the entire trip in US dollars was 39.73 and 76 cents. In US, um, that's including Alaska, so both sides of Canada, uh, it was $3,297. In Canada, my total was 890.45, that's Canadian. Um, if I convert that to American dollars, it comes out to $676. So all totaled out, that was $51 a day. Uh, if I take my ticket out, $48 a day um, and $68 a day in Canada. So anyway, so that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, put them in the comments, shoot me an email. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And uh, you guys have a great week and we'll see you next week and uh, you guys ride safe.